Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be uh, showing you how to expand brackets. I'm going to do some single brackets and some double brackets. Uh, the main thing I want you to take away is that when you've got brackets you multiply. So for example, if you have uh, four, four lots of something and that something is in brackets, uh, you're multiplying that four. So if I had you know something like 10 in those brackets, that's just going to be 40, four lots of 10. Uh, um, and then you can put different things inside those brackets. So you might have an, uh, an unknown in there, so an X, and then you might have, um, uh, say, uh, 5, so X plus 5. So you've got four lots of X plus 5. So to expand these brackets, you need to multiply that 4 by everything inside the brackets. So 4 times X, and then 4 times plus 5, including that sign. So 4 times X, that's going to be 4X and then four times plus five, plus 20. And you can have all, uh, all different things involving brackets. You can have, um, uh, let's see, you can have, uh, you can have two unknowns. So you could have four and then bracket and A, and then you can have a negative in those brackets. So a negative B. So this is four lots of A minus B. So to expand those, you need to, again, multiply the four by everything four times a and then four times negative b including that sign so this is going to be four a and then four times negative b that's negative four b okay so it's, it's a bit like simplifying expressions and you can even have an unknown in front of the brackets um, so an x and then the brackets and then you might have say two minus x inside the brackets um, so x times everything inside the bracket, so x times two. Remember the, the number comes before the uh, letter. So two x and then x times negative x, that's going to be negative x squared. And we'd actually usually uh, write that around the other way. Um, so it'd be actually uh, negative x squared plus two x. Okay, so because uh, if it's squared, it comes first. Um, e, then you can have a, an unknown and a coefficient at the front. So 10a, for example, and then you might have another unknown in the brackets, and then a minus b, for example. So there's actually two unknowns in that expression. So that's going to be 10a times 2a. So that'll be, remember, you need to multiply the numbers first. So 20, and then a times a is 20a squared. And then you've got 10a times minus b, so that's going to be minus 10ab. All right, so keeping in mind you, you need to multiply everything. Um, and, then, and then you can even get ones with fractions. And you can have all sorts of things in these brackets. So you might have like half times a quarter minus x, for example. Um, so half times a quarter, hopefully you remember how to multiply your fractions. And that's going to be one eighth. Hopefully you got that. And then half times minus x. That's going to be minus a half x. So I hope. Uh, so you can have all different things. You can have lots of different examples, and they're just a few of them. All right. So let's have a look at double brackets now. Um, and I'm going to go over three methods that you can use to uh, expand double brackets. The first method is called the crab claw. Bit of a funny name. Um, so let's have a look at why it's called the crab claw. So you might have something like x, uh, I don't know, minus 2x plus 10 in your double bracket. So what is this saying? This is saying everything in this bracket multiplied by everything in these brackets. Um, so I've got this many lots of these things. Um, so again, you need to multiply everything by everything. Just always remember that when you've got brackets, multiply everything by everything. Um, so let's have a look. So I've got an x here. I need to multiply that by this first x here. And then I need to also multiply that x by the plus 10 at the back there. Okay, so that's that x multiplied by everything. Then I've got this, multi uh, the, this negative 2, and I need to multiply that by the x here, and then multiply by that plus 10 at the back. So you can see those arrows kind of make a, a claw kind of shape. That's why it's called uh, the crab claw method. So you draw your arrows in. So x times x, that's going to be x squared. 
then uh, x times plus 10, that's going to be plus 10x, then minus 2 times x, minus 2x, and then minus 2 times plus 10, minus 20. Right, and we haven't finished because we need to simplify this, this expression. We need to simplify this expression. Uh, now, x, now let's uh, highlight the like terms first. So I've got x squared, there's no other x squareds, but I've got an x here and an x here. So they're like terms, so I need to combine those like terms. All right, so x squared plus 10x minus 2x, that's going to be plus 8x, right? 10, take 2, and then that 20 stays where it is. So that's the crab claw method. Okay, the second method I want to show you today is called the, the grid, grid method. Okay, let's uh, uh, have some more double brackets here. Let's say x plus 2, x plus 4, for example. Okay, the grid method is similar to grid multiplication. So you might have seen this before. You draw your, your grid uh, like this. Because we've got two lots of two, we'll have two spaces and then put your time symbol in the corner. And then your first brackets goes up the top here. So x and then plus two. And then your second brackets goes down the side, x plus four. Always include that sign in case it's a negative and it changes. So now we do our multiplication. So x times x, x squared, uh, plus two times x, 2x, x times 4, 4x, and then plus 2 times plus 4 is going to be plus 8. Oops. It is going to be plus 8. Okay, so, so now we can write our answer in. So x squared. Now I've got a plus 4x and a plus 2x. That's going to be plus 6x and then plus 8. And that's your answer for those expanding those double brackets. Okay, the last method is called FOIL. This is uh, my personal favorite. So I'm going to write that. It's actually an acronym. And I'll explain what it stands for. So let's have some more double brackets. We love our double brackets. Um, okay, x minus 3 times x plus 4. Okay, FOIL, the FOIL, the F in FOIL stands for firsts. And this is what we need to multiply. So the firsts are the first terms in each bracket. So the X is the first term in this bracket. And the X is the first term in this bracket. So I need to multiply those first terms. So X times X, X squared. The O stands for outers. So the outer terms, the, the ones on the far edges of the brackets. So the x is on this side and the 4 is on this side, so I need to multiply those two, the outers. Then the i stands for inners. See if you can figure out what l stands for before I get to it. Inners is these inner terms, the ones closest together. So the minus 3 and the x. So it's going to be minus 3x and l. That's right, you guessed it, stands for lasts. So the last terms in the brackets, so the minus 3 is the last term in these brackets, and the plus 4 is the last term in those brackets. So that's going to be minus 12. Then we just need to simplify that, so that's going to be x squared plus 4x minus 3x, that's going to be plus x, and then minus 12. Okay, so, so that's the FOIL method. All right. Um, so let's just outline those, those three methods again. So we have the crab claw and the grid method and then FOIL. Um, so I would just, uh, I'd suggest just choosing a method that you prefer that makes sense to you and going with that and, and kind of trying to master that. Keep in mind these are, uh, even though these are 
simple examples of double brackets. Um, uh, we don't have any fractions or or more unknowns in there. Um, th these methods still work, even if you have these complicated kind of expressions. Those methods are still going to work. So, so just keep that in mind for the future. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Um, let me know which method you prefer, or if there's anything in this video that's not quite making sense, please let me know. Uh, okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.